Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be remastering the simple spin transition. You guys have been requesting this a bunch in the comments below so I finally decided to do it for you guys. So this is what the spin transition looks like. So yeah, if that looks interesting to you, just stick around for the rest of the video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get both your um, clips into a composite shot. Right here I got my two clips, they're in a composite shot, and you're going to want to go to effects. And find the effect spherical warp. Drag that effect inside both of the clips, and you'll notice on the preview how it looks really weird and distorted. You're going to want to go into the effect, and then change amount to zero. So now it'll look normal. And then same thing over here, it looks really distorted. Go to effects. Spherical warp they just put in, set the amount to zero. So now your clips look normal. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to move your little pointer thing to the last frame of the first clip. You can use this slider down in this corner to zoom in. So yeah, I am on the last frame of that clip. And once you are there, you are gonna to want to go to spherical warp the effect, go to rotation, set it to 50. Press this circle right here to keyframe it, so then you'll see the blue dot appear. I'll zoom out a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna go back like one second, and then set the rotation back down to zero. And then same thing for the other one, you're gonna wanna go to the last frame of the second clip. Set rotation, instead of 50 this time, you wanna do negative 50. Make sure you press the circle to keyframe it. I'm gonna go about a second forward, and then set rotation back down to zero. So now, if we play this back, it's gonna look really weird, and I don't know, here, just watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's really like linear and it's not really pleasing to look at, so this next step, we're gonna change that. Alright, so this next part is gonna be pretty important, so what you're gonna wanna do is highlight all of the keyframes from the first clip. The second clip is up here, I'm only dealing with the first clip right now, so we'll highlight everything and see this smooth circle. Click that, and now that will change it to, to manual bezier, which what that means is it makes these things movable. So before it was like this. See how it's just like a linear, you cannot like change it, it's just a linear line. When you select this, you can make it exponentially increase like that, which is what we're gonna want. So we're gonna try to make it like an exponential graph, and I think that will look okay. So now we're gonna close up the value graph by clicking value graph one more time. Go up here, do the exact same thing, except the graph will look a little bit different. So highlight everything. Select the circle, convert select the keyframes to manual bezier as it says right there, click that, go back to the value graph, and this time we're going to want to make, instead of making the graph look like this, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to make the graph look like this. So it's exponential in a different way, I don't, I'm not too good at math, so I don't even know what to call that, but pretty much you want your value graph to look something like this. So now close it and it should make it look a lot better. Alright, yeah, that's already started to look really nice. And it's still a little bit laggy because we didn't render it, but I will show you how to do all that stuff at the very end. Alright, so this is a completely optional um, thing to do, but I think it adds just a little more spice to the effect. So you're going to want to click a new layer, go to grade, and you can name it whatever, whatever you want. I, I'm too lazy to name it, so yeah, don't don't be like me. Actually, name your, like, name your layers so then it's not confusing. Because I just have like, when I'm making a big project, I just have a bunch of just grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, like it's just super confusing because then you never like know which one's which. So yeah, you're going to want to pull out um, Radial Blur, drag that into grade, and then right in the middle, right when those two clips meet, I'm going to zoom in, make sure, yeah, right there, right where the two clips meet, I'm going to set the angle to, let's do 7. Alright, and then I'm going to click the circle to keyframe it, and then I'm going to go about a second back set the angle to zero, a second forward, angle to zero. Now I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, change this into manual bezier. Go to the value graph and this time I'm gonna want I wanna make I want it to like spike up super fast and only be like blurry for a little bit. So I'm gonna make my graph look like this. And now when we play it play it back it looks like this. Alright that looks nice. It kinda gives it like a motion blur feeling like when it's moving really fast, it kind of blurs it. It just makes it look a lot more smoother. All right, now you're pretty much done with your effect. So pretty much to render it, you see this little play button right here? It's like the preview button kind of. Um, you can do Alt L or you can just click it. You press it and then it will slowly render the clip that where it started at. And it pretty much just makes playback 
a lot more smoother. Like when you watch it back, it'll look a lot more smoother. So it's about done rendering. And now when we watch it back, it should not be laggy. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty clean. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure you just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Shut up.